Hi everybody, today I'm going to be showing you how to set up your rebadge device for the very first time and then how to link it to your account. So the rebadge device itself and you're going to need a power cable which will be supplied with the rebadge device, it's a USB micro cable. You're also going to need an ADSL or a, a data cable that also is supplied with the unit itself. So the first thing you want to do is you want to plug your power into the back of the unit. Directly on the back of the unit itself there's a little USB micro plug. Plug A into B. Once you plug it in you should get some lights on your actual screen. The next step is to plug your LAN data cable into the side of the device. So on the side there's a RJ45 socket or a LAN data cable connection. So you want to plug that in. And the other end of this LAN data cable should be plugged into your modem router. It needs to be plugged in for the first time to set it up. After that we can turn on the Wi-Fi. So now that that's all plugged in and booting up, we're going to go to our web browser. going to open up a new tab and you're going to go to rebadge.services. Once it opens up the rebadge.services page, you want to click not registered, register here, this highlighted section there. And then you're going to fill in all your company information. So for this example, I'm going to be using a test. And <clears throat> it has already auto-filled all my information. The only thing I have to do is input my password. So uh, if the passwords for these have to be eight digits, eight characters, eight symbols, they have to be eight in total. So I'm just going to use a standard password for this one. And then all the way down the bottom as well, there's going to be a check tab. And what that is, is you will have to just pretty much agree to the terms and conditions, pretty standard. Um, everything else, like locationalized settings, they should all be preset for you. Um, click Submit. And what that's going to do is it's going to set up this test for me. It's going to set up this test profile. And then it's going to take us to the first tab, which is Devices. If it doesn't take you to devices, please click devices. And it's going to want you to add a unit to the device. So if we go add unit up the top right, or top left, sorry. And then it's going to ask you to input a hardware ID. Now the hardware ID is listed on the back of the device. Directly on the back of the device here is a little white section strip right here that actually says the hardware ID. But it also, it's going to be very hard for you to see. It also puts it up on the actual display of the screen as well. I'm trying to see if I can get you a good angle there. Mm, not really. Anyway, so the hardware on this one, I'm just going to spin this around for me. Normally it won't auto-fill that for you. I've just done this a few times, so submit. All right. So it's now been added to your account. So this test one account is the owner of this hardware ID. Now, as it says over here in the corner, it says pending. This will change generally just takes maybe 10 to 15 minutes for the servers to update and it to actually become confirmed instead of pending. So that's the setup of the account and the actual device all done. The next video I'm going to take you through is how to actually set up the Wi-Fi and connect it to your Wi-Fi network. Thank you.